Hi, welcome back to the Photoshop for Architecture students. Now we're going to continue working on um, our photo montage image of the MIG flying past the School of Architecture building at the University of Queensland. Now we've added some contextual information to try and give this image a bit of life and perhaps a bit of reality. Now in this instance we've used scaling, used the shadow, and we've also added this sort of flare of the, the sort of jet stream coming off the back of the plane. Now we're going to add in a few extra um, sort of filters and distortions to add perhaps a little bit more um, realism to the image, although we know that you know this we're having a bit of fun and that it's, it's not entirely real. Now first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to work on this flared image out the back here. I want to sort of make it look not quite so smooth, but give it a bit more of a rumble texture. Now we can do that through the filter um, palette, which is in the pull down menu. And I'm going to introduce a bit of distortion. Now you can play around with the different um, versions of these, um, but in this instance I've already looked at the ocean ripple and I think I'm going to apply that. So I'm going to open that up. Now you can see here that each of the filters show you a little preview and some modifications, modifiers, and you can use those sliders to sort of change the effect of the filter to you get one that's approximately what you're after. So I'm not too fussy, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. It gives it more of a sort of rumbled texture, so I'm just going to go OK, and you can see what happens through there. Now I'm going to add a few more things because this layer it still sits very much on top of the layer above and it's not blending very well so I want to perhaps make the effect a little bit more subtle. Now I'm going to do that through changing the layer um, characteristics or effect. Now we've used the multiply um, effect quite a lot and we use that in the shadow to create the sort of tracing paper. Now all of these um, effects, layer effects, they're kind of um, grouped into uh, certain subcategories. Now I want to actually start working on the light of the the layer and play around with just different options through there and just to see one that tends to sort of give us a bit more of a subtle effect and allow it to sort of blend in. So I'm just sort of picking through these and so far there hasn't been anything. Uh, the pin light's actually not bad. Hard mix now that's so let's go back to the pin light. And what that's tended to do is that it's blurred out a lot of the edges and it's given it almost like a heat haze out the back, which is probably quite appropriate to the context through here. So I'm going to keep that one. It's still a bit um in your face, so I'm going to sort of knock back the opacity of that layer to sort of blend it in to the background layer a little bit more. Okay, so that's fine. Now, although we're giving this kind of streaming motion coming out of the back of it, the plane itself is actually looking rather static. So we can add an effect to that plane by introducing like a, a motion blur. Now, we can do that again through the filter and there's a whole category of blur through here and in fact there is a, a motion blur choice through there. Now you can play around with these settings I'm not going to tool around too much with this so I'm just going to OK that one see what it looks like. So that's given us a good kind of blurry motion. Now I'm going to do a similar effect to the shadow below. Now I can just use the sort of default uh, previous filter that I used, motion blur, to then give it um, a sense of, of movement across the screen there. Now as one final thing I might just play with to sort of introduce you to another tool is to sort of do a blur that looks like the heat haze is affecting our image as it goes across the building. Now to do that I'm actually going to use the smudge tool. Now it's obviously not designed for what we intend to, but I'm going to kind of blur the background to make it appear that there's a heat haze applying over it. So I'm going to give myself a rather large 
brush. So I'm going to punch in 400 pixel brush there. And I'm going to select the background image because that's where the um, Zelman Cowan building is. And I'm just going to do a very simple smudge action across there. And let's see what happens. Now I've got a very big brush so it's not going to blur too much and hopefully it'll just give us a flaring and it'll affect the building just slightly. Let's see what happens. So it's taking a little bit of time to think. So there we have it. It's perhaps not perfect and we can play around with the settings but it does give a sense that there's some form of heat haze coming off that um, stream coming out of the back. So through these techniques, okay, it's a little bit of playing around. It's not meant to be realistic, but it gives you the sense of the sort of power of um, photomontage, the importance of context, how we resize, how we create shadows easily, and how we use layers and effects to sort of give a much more engaging image.